Horseshoe is the oldest part of the city with some buildings dating back to the 15th century. Its name comes from the shape of the walls that bordered it in the 17th century. The district is also home to the Water Tower, formerly the Bell Tower built out of a military outpost. Its small winding streets bear odd names whose origins have faded with history. It's the home of the last craftsman's workshops and antique stores, the spirit of a bygone era. The greatest poets sought inspiration in Horseshoe, and their souls soar above its rooftop still. Perhaps, brave traveler, you too will find inspiration here. Today, Horseshoe is a favorite meeting spot, especially for lovers. I, myself, once met a match from a dating app there whose bio said he was a 30-year-old dolphin trainer with the body of a Greek god. Unfortunately, the man who appeared was a 50-year-old vacuum cleaner salesman who brought his mother along. The date was a bust, but at least I was able to buy the latest turbo duster model at a killer price. My kids no food tonight. Again. <sighs> Good to see you. around a while. You're practically one of us now. You know, this used to be a bell tower in the Middle Ages. Wonder what happened to the bells.
safe place to crash by the windmill now. Dude! I saw you climbing up that thing! You got the move, man! So much work to do. I'll never finish it before winter. You exhaust yourself working your whole life, and then you get cancer or suffer a heart attack. Complain to me after you paid me the money you owe me. You've gone quiet now, huh? I have my dead stuff. What can I get back. you? PK's restricted access. Some say the Finally. are about to attack. You'll love that, baby. We have a winner. Good for you. Been looking for those. Just what I need. Why not? Come back and see me. My gut tells me that they're lying. Let's try again later. I gotta feel like we're getting ourselves into trouble. And we have no other choice. Aiden, you've been around a while. You're practically one of us now. Sometimes I can't sleep because of the awful sound the effect that outside make. And another windmill back in operation. Thanks, Aiden. Got a headache? Fumes hurt. Fever? Hurt. Diarrhea? You're on your own, friend.
Is this some kind of collector or what? Oh, this place is a pigsty. Proof. Aiden, hurry up. Someone's coming your way. Ah, great. Get out of there. Now. Yeah. something. Wait, what the hell? Oh, fuck! That's... That's human skin! Hakon, I found the tattoo they cut out of Lucas. Damn freaks. What? Yeah. Mm, oh, I'm gonna throw up. Get the hell out of there! We still ain't no Why are you going through my sister's stuff? Didn't know they were hiring pilgrims as housekeepers in this hole. Are you shedding skin, Barney? What the fuck is... We didn't... A little piece of Lucas to remember him by, you sicko. Fuck you. Nice try. But that ain't mine. I'll kill you, you son of a bitch! What's going on here, for fuck's sake? Are you nuts? He's... He's setting us up. This fucking pilgrim is framing us. What is he talking about, Aiden? I found the proof. Hidden among your things. Proof? Uh, of what? You cut the tattoo from Commander Lucas's arm. After his death? Or when he was still alive? You're out of your mind. I didn't do it. Maybe you didn't. But your crazy brother? Barney's not a psycho. We have nothing to do with Lucas's death. I'm going to aid her. I've got the proof he's looking for. Aiden, it's not us. Nobody at the bazaar will believe you. Then where did this piece of skin come from, Sophie? Could have been planted to set us up. Ever think of that? Who would do that? And why? To distract everyone from the real killer. Who gained the most from killing Lucas? Who had the most to gain? If it was that easy for you to get in here, then someone else could have come in here before you and planted that. Doesn't matter. This is between you and Ader now. Wait! Please. Ader doesn't care about the truth. He doesn't care about finding the real killer. 
He's only looking for a reason to raid the bazaar. It's not my war, Sophie. No. But you'll have blood on your hands. Blood of innocence. Someone is setting us up. Someone clever. We're not sadists who would skin Lucas, Aiden. And you know it. But I know that you want to get rid of the PKs. Yes. And we will get rid of them. But not like psychos and assassins, Aiden. Believe me, this is a setup. I'll help you get to the center. I promise. How? By getting rid of the biggest problem of this land. The PKs. <sighs> that seems dangerous. We've been preparing for this for a long time. I'll tell you everything when I'm ready. Stay close to your radio, Aiden. Time to make some changes around here. The infected got him. Serves him right, you ask me. Tempting fate like that. Good evening, Aiden. Go! 
The old town. You ready to get me to the center? I'll tell you everything when you get here. Hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather not ask how she knows. <sighs> we need the juice to turn on the UVs. Get on top and activate the windmill, will ya?
Is everything all right? I can hear you a mile away. It's none of your business! Sorry about her. Save your sorry for Theodore. You better find him right now or else. Monica, maybe this is for the better. You don't get to tell me what's better. But I'm telling you, you better get Theodore out of there. Come on. Do you really want that? You think life is hell on Earth now? You wait and see how I make you feel if Theodore comes to any harm. Who's Theodore? Theodore is the most brutal motherfucker in the bazaar. Should be in a PK prison. Fuck you, Will. He's my boyfriend, not yours. So then, what happened that might be better this way? Yeah, tell him, Will. I... I couldn't watch. This brute hooking up with my sister and... Will, Lord Theodore, in a dark zone. And now he'll fucking go and get him out! Monica, wait. You're a pilgrim, right? That place is soaked with chemicals. Hell, Theodore's probably dead already. You want me dead too? Even if I manage to find him, the asshole will just kill me. Pilgrim, would you... Would you get that jerk out of there, please? Yeah, but you just said if he makes it out, he'll kill you. I have no choice. Look, there's more. I'm pregnant. I found out this morning. Theo doesn't know yet. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I'll see what I can do.
Aiden, you've been around a while. You're practically one of us now. Looking for something special? Sure. Always need this. Come back again. Hello? Anybody there? Damien sent me. Hello? What do you want? Damien sent me. He said you have work here. Wrong address, bud. But I just talked to him. Damien, he sent me here. You alone? Why do you ask? Because we're not letting in tour groups. Nothing personal. It's just, you know, we're careful people. So I'll ask again, are you alone? Yeah, I'm alone. You'd better be. Now get in and head downstairs. They'll explain everything. Are you interested or not? I'm Aiden. Damien sent me. I'm uh, here for the job. Right. So, you're new around here. Damien asked that too. What difference does it make? Boss asked a question. Now, I'm still trying to figure out why I'm here. Yeah, you're the one dancing around the subject. Okay. Let's talk about the job, then. To do it, it's best that you're not all that well-known around the bazaar. Well, I wouldn't say I'm all that well-known. That's good. That's very good. Looks like we finally found our missing person. Wait, what are you talking about? What do you want from me? Let's just say we work for someone that's dying to meet you. Except he won't be the one dying, I don't think. Let's haul him in, boys.
you die? Oh, you asshole. You set me up. What? No, no, no. I, I swear, I, I would never. I, I was just doing my job, scouting. It's my job. Who are these people? And why were they looking for me? I don't know, Aiden. You gotta believe me. Please! They just told me to send them anyone who seemed new. They didn't tell me why. I don't have any other choice but to do as they say. They have anything to do with Lucas's death. What? No. I mean... God, I... I hope not. That would be... terrible. But I swear, I don't know. So you've sent others before me, and, and then they've all been murdered? What have you done, Damien? I didn't know at first, but I couldn't do anything about it once I found out. I couldn't. How many, Damien? How many people have you sent to their death? Stop it, Aiden, stop. I'm sorry. I had to. I'm trapped. Believe me. They have my brother. Your brother? I talk fast. They took him and threatened to kill him if I didn't do what they said. I just figured if I did good, they'd eventually release him. I'm being played, and I'm tired of it. I just want my brother back. Will you help me find him? You sent me to the slaughter, and now I'm supposed to forget that and help you find your brother. You're mad. I get it. But look at it this way. He may have heard why they're looking for you. If he could tell you, wouldn't you want to find him? <sighs> All right, fine then. But you better pray that he knows something. I've been there already and searched the place. No sign of Cliff. Serious? Oh, shit. You don't think they... He's not dead, is he? Don't jump to conclusions. But where could they be keeping him? Damn it, this is all my fault. I'm such a fool. Sending people here? That's on you. As for your brother, I'm not certain. And where did you last see him? We were in East Corian, close to Devil's Bridge, when they attacked us. They took him hostage and have been using me to carry out their orders ever since. I only did this to keep my brother alive, Aiden. I didn't know others would die when this started. What's Devil's Bridge? It's the name of this building. In the Middle Ages, they said devils haunted it. But then times changed and no one believed in those things anymore. Before the virus, it was a car repair shop. Now it's full of bandits. And I guess I'll search the area around Devil's Bridge for clues. Aiden, you serious? You'd do that for me? <laughs> Not a chance. I'm doing this so that no one else dies because of you. <laughs> 